ago when Alex Jones was banned from most of the social media outlets, Twitter was the only one that refused to ban him. At that time, the CEO said he didn't violate any of their policies. Well, looks like on September 6, 2018, they've had a change of heart. Alex Jones has been permanently banned from Twitter and his website, InfoWars. And this is a statement from Twitter. We took this action based on new reports of tweets and videos posted yesterday that violated our abusive behavior policy. In addition to the account's past violation, the social media company said. Now, I remember he got into some altercation yesterday, and I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Well, let's get into the story, right? Twitter announced Thursday that it had banned the accounts of conspiracy theorist Alex Jones and his far-right media company InfoWars because of abusive behavior on the platform. Today, we permanently suspended at Real Alex Jones and at InfoWars from Twitter and Periscope. The company tweeted on Thursday, we took this action based on new reports of tweets and videos posted yesterday that violate our abusive behavior policy in addition to the account's past violations. InfoWars did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Jones had approximately 900,000 followers on Twitter, while InfoWars had around 430,000. Jones was reportedly banned for posting a video in which he confronted CNN reporter Oliver Darcy, an exchange in which he insulted Darcy's appearance. Alex Jones insulted someone's appearance? Woo, moving on. In a video posted to the InfoWars website, Jones claimed he was banned for being willing to speak the truth. I was taken down, not because we lie, but because we tell the truth and because we were popular, Jones said. And then when we ran into Oliver Darcy, who is the secret police captain, who admits he goes around and get people like InfoWars taken off other platforms because we confronted that monster that has abused us and lied about us. Attacked our speech. Because of that, they took us down. This is the latest ban only a few weeks after Jones was uh, similarly kicked off of Facebook and YouTube. Apple also removed Jones and Infowar podcasts from its platform. Twitter, meanwhile, only put Jones and Infowar in a time out for a week. Twitter slapped Jones with the temporary suspension in mid-August, preventing him from using his personal account after he encouraged his followers via a video embedded in a tweet to get their battle rifles ready against members of the media in other groups. With the ban from Twitter, Jones has now effectively been deplatformed by all major social media companies. While Jones is still active on some far right websites, 
the ban had already taken their toll before Twitter acted. An analysis of data by the New York Times found that Jones's audience had roughly been cut in half by the bans from Facebook and YouTube. Twitter said that it's typically does not comment on enforcement actions, such as bans and suspensions, but it decided to comment on Jones's case because we want it to be open about this action given the broad interest in this case. The social media company said they would continue to monitor reports of abuse from other accounts associated with Jones and Infowars. So Twitter <laughs> safety, at Twitter safety. As we continue to increase transparency around our rules and enforcement actions, we want it to be open about this action given the broad interest in this case. We do not typically comment on enforcement actions we take against individual account for their privacy. And looks like there's another one. We will continue to evaluate reports we receive regarding other accounts potentially associated with at real Alex Jones or at Infowars and will take action if uh, content that violates our rules is reported or other accounts are utilized in an attempt to circumvent their ban. So they put these tweets out on September 6, 2018. Wow. Jones made a surprise visit in Washington on Wednesday and sat only a few feet behind Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey as he testified before the Senate Intelligence Committee Dorsey also testified before the House Committee on Energy and Commerce. Twitter faced mounding pressure as critics believe that the platform allowed Jones to spread misinformation, most famously the falsehood that the 2012 massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School had been staged. Jones is facing multiple <laughs> defamation suits from parents of the murdered children. Yes, and in fact, I saw the story on that probably about two days ago. Yeah, they, they're dragging his butt into court for that. You know, and to be honest with you, I'm not surprised that Twitter put him off. You know, it, it's kind of hard to be the lone holdout and I know they were receiving a lot of pressure about keeping him on that particular platform, being that he was banned from Apple, YouTube, and Facebook. So, you know, I know initially Twitter said they were not going to ban him, but I really kind of knew they were going to take this measure. It, it really didn't take a rocket scientist to figure this one out. So, look like he's off of all major media platforms now. You know, plus he is going to trial because the parents of the Sandy Hook victims have taken him to court. And they said um, because of Alex Jones saying that the children's deaths were a hoax, they said their lives were threatened. People threatened their lives, the parents, over oh, because of Alex Jones. Please tell me what you think. You know, me, I am not for censorship. You know, I did not see Alex Jones's tweet, which led to him being permanently banned from Twitter. 
but I did see some of his actions when he was in Washington and the things he was doing. I mean, he got into it with uh, Marco Rubio. I did see that video. But you never know. He may be gone for now and back at another time. You know, that's how it always goes. But for now, Alex Jones is banned from all media platforms and all the banning is also causing him to lose a big chunk of his once large audience. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.